Hey guys, welcome to primandprep.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Omega S brush. It's a synthetic brush that was rec recommended to me by a friend. Um, I've tried a few synthetic brushes in the past and he was really raving about this one as a good travel brush. That's what he uses it for. So I decided to purchase it and give it a, give it a whirl. Um, the first thing I noticed was the build quality and just looking at it, it kind of felt and looked cheap. It has a plastic handle that is very, very light, and I kind of like some heft to my to my uh, handles on my brushes. Um, it just signifies build quality to me. Um, yeah, so I got the half black plastic, half see-through plastic. They come in uh, or, uh, red and green and blue and some other colors, but I decided just to go black. I think it looks the best. Um, but after using it for a while, I think the build quality is pretty decent. Um, I haven't really noticed too many synthetic hairs, and I know that um, badger and boar hairs come out a lot easier, uh, but some synthetics I've had in the past had problems coming out, and um, you can notice that some of the hairs have gotten bent so far, and that's just from like 10 uses or so. But overall, build quality is is pretty good, pretty good. Um, hair density is also pretty decent. They packed a lot of a lot of hairs into this thing, and also since they don't fall out, it actually um, that helps a lot. So over time, too many of them shouldn't fall out. And in terms of stiffness and the softness of it, I was really surprised by how soft the the tips were. It's probably as soft as one of my best badger brushes that I have. They did a really good job of that. It feels really smooth on my face. But in terms of stiffness, they it's not very stiff at all. They flop all over and it doesn't it's not used as a exfoliation um brush as much as all my badger and boar hairs. They do a lot better job of exfoliating and I do like a stiffer um stiffer hairs in my brushes because I think it feels good. I think it really maintains my skin and keeps everything a lot healthier. Um, but overall, it's only a $10 to $15 brush, and I'm probably going to use it for travel because if I lose it, I, I don't really care too much. Um, it's not an expen expensive batch of brush or anything like that, so I could afford to lose it. I won't be, you know, too sad if I do, and it uh, whips up a lather pretty well. It doesn't hold water as well as badger brushes and it doesn't lather as well as my best um, badger brushes or silver tip badger brushes but it does a pretty good job it does it pretty quickly um, um, another some other benefits to it is obviously since it's not made out of animal hair it, you won't have that bad smell that you normally get from badger brushes off the bat um, it's also easier to maintain, um, typically badger hair brushes might get, might deteriorate over time from too much water exposure and soap exposure. It's a lot easier to clean these and these synthetic fibers won't wear down in water and soap as easy as a badger brush does. But, um, downfall, it doesn't lather as well. It lathers okay. Um, it doesn't soak up the water as well as uh, animal hairs do, and it doesn't exfoliate as well. But for you know, ten to fifteen dollars, depending on when you get it on Amazon, I think it's a steal. I think you guys should try it out. It's a great travel brush. Um, if you lose it, no big deal. Um, so I definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking to get into it a synthetic. So yeah, this is the Omega S brush review. Um, Check out my article on the website. There's a little bit more information. And check out primandprep.com for more male grooming tips. Thanks, guys.